Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to today's video, which is going to be a Christmas home bargains and B&M haul. Now, I don't know about you, but when it comes to Christmas time and this time of the year, B&M and home bargains and those kind of shops are just my favorite place to go and have a mooch around. Every time you go in there's something new. They always have so much Christmas stuff, which they do in store at the moment. And believe me, it is getting shopped. I walked down the present aisle earlier in B&M and quite a lot of the presents were going down. So yeah, people are getting their things early this year. So I thought I would sit down with you, do a little haul. I love everything that I have got for Christmas so far from Home Bargains of B&M. I'm finding some right little gems in there. I really don't want to go overboard with Christmas stuff this year, which isn't really like me. I love to go Christmas, 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 but I am trying to just pick out bits which I know that I need or that I know that I love or that I know I'm gonna bring out year after year after year. I also haven't gone through my Christmas decorations down in the garage. So I was quite aware of not buying ball balls and stockings and things like that because I want to double check what I already have. And that is the next thing on my list of things to do. We have to do our house decorating and I'm so excited to get our tree up. So that will hopefully be one of the next videos going up on my channel because I really want to do that this week. Um, I'm just repainting our living room. As you do, I decided to have a whole repaint of the living room before we put up the Christmas tree because I just love to make my life really nice and easy. <laughs> what is in my haul today? I have a mixture of homeware, Christmas cleaning, knickknacks and just all of that Christmas good stuff so let's get straight into it. I also have my Greg's um, coffee which A just picked up for me because he's just come back from lunch hence why I'm filming this video. Right so I am going to jump in with a couple of the bigger bits and my favourite well there's actually a few favourites in <laughs> this haul but I love these bits I'm going to show you. So first of all this glass Christmas tree jar. So this is from Home Bargains. I can't remember the exact price. I can't remember if it's $6.99 or $9.99. Under a tenner. How gorgeous is this Christmas tree shaped jar? And when I bought it, actually, my friend was like, does it come with the lights in it? But it doesn't come with the lights in. You could put lights in if that's what you fancied. And as you can see on the photo on the side there, it has like chocolates and sweet treats. I've also seen someone using this for their coffee pods. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I think I'm going to go down the chocolate sweets root but I absolutely loved it. it gives that hint of Christmas but it's not too in your face and it just still looks like classic and simple which is what I really like. I'm also not wanting to go absolutely mad with Christmas stuff everywhere because I know especially because I'm doing my tree early I don't want to feel too cluttered in the house because you know there's a lot of people living in our house we have a lot of stuff like I don't want things to get too cluttered and I thought that this was quite a uh, really nice designed Christmas jar to have on the side. So I really can't wait to display that. Should I get it out actually so you can have a proper look? BRB. Here it is here. How cute is this jar? And so the lid just comes off there so you can fill it up. I just think that that is so, so nice. And then the other thing I also got from Home Bargains. Oh my gosh, it's. Whoa! scared me then. Pray to God I haven't broken this already but it is this two-tier slate serving board. How gorgeous is this? So you've got the wooden tiered stand and then you have the slate boards on top and this was $9.99. I thought it was a great price. I've also seen in Home Bargains a Christmas tree stand. I might have taken a photo of it on my phone. If I have I will put a picture of it up of it on the screen, which I keep umming and ahhing every time I go in. You know when something's like a tenner in Home Bargains and you just think to yourself, do I really need it? Am I going to spend a tenner on this? I know it's not even too much, but I keep umming and ahhing about it. So closer to the time, I may pick it up if it's not sold out, but I saw this one in there and I thought that this would not only be good for serving on Christmas social occasions, I could use it all year round. Like it's not just a one trick pony. It's not only gonna be out for Christmas, it's gonna serve us more than just one time of year. So I could use this on birthdays. I thought a cream tea, a nice cream tea set up on here would be so lovely as well, but we will definitely be using this for cheese and wine balls as it gets to Christmas because I mean <laughs> that is just the dream isn't it that is the dream I think it just looks so stylish and it's really going to elevate your food display and it's going to be different I mean I haven't really seen like too many of these around so yeah I'm excited for that then sticking with home bargains for a minute I found these two little pieces so this here which is a little post box mailbox 
Christmas ball ball but I'm thinking I'm gonna stick this on the kids playhouse when I decorate that up for Christmas so this is £1.49 and it just says letter to Santa Claus special delivery you can actually open and close it so you could put a little no or little message in there if you fancied it but i really liked this i thought this almost gave me zara home vibe so zara do like post boxes and letter boxes from santa and they do them in a lot on a lot bigger scale and they look beautiful and this kind of gave me that kind of vibe it just looked like that style it's tin as well which i think gives a really nice effect just i don't know I really like it I thought it was sweet and then I also got this which just says reindeer dust and it is a little pot of glitter and it's got reindeer on it and a cork lid I just thought that was really really cute that was 99p so I'll probably put that in their Christmas Eve box also for the kids for Christmas I got them these little mugs in Home Bargains again so I'm trying to stick with Home Bargains before I move on to B&M these are just mini mugs and they just say chilling with my snowman so I got three for Harlow Harper and Amora because Lex will probably just have a full size mug they were £1.29 each if you watch my autumn decor haul I bought them a little tiny size mug from Next and I think it was like six pounds so when you times six pound by three it was actually really pricey and we will get them out every year so I'm not too mad about the money I spent on that but when I saw these for one pound 29 I just knew they had to have them I don't know why I just feel like they love these mini mugs because it's just more child size and especially if they are having a hot drink as well it's just a bit more safer for them to pick up than a big mug which might be a bit heavy for them I don't know I just love the mini mugs and I know that the kids will love the mini mugs as well because I don't know kids just like kid things don't they and then lastly from home bargains before I move on to some really nice stuff from B&M and then cleaning will be a mix of both because I can't remember which stores I got which in I got these little hand sanitizers for Harlow and Harper to attach to their school bags so I got one the reindeer and one the gingerbread I don't know if they are going to end up arguing over who's got what I didn't know whether I should have st stuck with the same if you're new to my channel then I have twin daughters they're seven years old so sometimes I get them different sometimes I get them the same I'm just hoping that they will appreciate that they have a different one each and not be like oh I wish I had the reindeer one as well so who knows they were 99p at this moment in time my youngest babies <laughs> if you're new to my channel again I've got two sets of twins so that's my older set of twins and then my youngest set of twins they have currently got a hand foot and mouth disease so we have been a sick house for a while yeah it's not been fun at all so we have been sanitizing our hands and our house like no tomorrow since the kids have been ill and I just thought that hopefully this will keep some of that winter germs away from this house because we have had our fair share now so we don't want to be bringing back any more now i am moving on to b&m and i found this in b&m today and i was shook i was amazed it had already come out of this box it was like half line out of this box and then since we've been home the babies have also been playing with it but it is a nine foot wooden garland and it was five pounds so there is a picture of it there and then also on the back for you if you love the nordic style christmas trees which i would say our christmas tree i do almost follow that kind of nordic christmas style because it's just what i'm into at the moment it's the colors i'm into i'm into quite neutral colors and just the kind of natural textures and materials that's just what i'm personally really into at the moment and i have seen this on lots of different shops slash year and they were just more money than I wanted to spend or I just seen them too late and I didn't want to purchase them and buy them. Saw it in B&M, this is the last one there. How gorgeous is this? I am obsessed and also not only can I use it for Christmas once again, it would also just look like nice as decor in a, maybe a nursery if you had some shelves you could decorate them on. I mean it is not just for Christmas guys, it is not just for Christmas, it is an investment but I'm definitely going to be putting this on our main Christmas tree and I cannot wait. It is just totally up my street and as I said I've seen this on lots of different homeware sites which are a lot more expensive than B&M so to see it in B&M I was just so happy then I got these two glasses so these are three pound I'm pretty sure they're three pound I have used these these are from a previous haul and they have got this gorgeous round circled design and then the gold bases and I just think they look so special for your special Christmas tipple at the end of the day Do you know what? I feel so bougie when I have a glass of wine out of these at the end of the day I just feel like they are great I saw them in there a few times I was umming and ahhing whether to pick it up and then one day I just did and do you know what best purchase I am so happy with them I've got two so if I share a little Christmas tipple with someone in the evening chin chin they're just gonna make that Christmas pour so 
special. The round ribbed section has almost given me Christmas bauble vibes, which I love, and the gold is just definitely giving me party, glitz, glamour, and I just love them. I then got some Christmas collection home bacon sprinkles, and I doubt we're gonna do much baking over Christmas. I mean, I'd love to be that person, but I am not. I am not a baker at all. I am not a cake maker. I can't do it. I wish I could so I could give my children some lovely home baked goods, but it's just not me. I mean, we will attempt it maybe, just as a fun activity, but don't be expecting anything from the Bake Off from this household. But I got these mainly for hot chocolates, just to elevate our hot chocolates and make them more Christmassy. So you've got lots of Christmas sprinkles in here and they are in the classic red and green colours. They also had them in like white and silver, but I just thought that this would be much more fun for the kids in the classic red and green. Then I may have showed this on my channel before, but I wanted to put it into my Christmas haul because it's from B&M as well. And they have this gorgeous, design crockery sets i got the mug it's in this lovely holly design and they also did bowls plates possibly and then they also have the carafe if i'm saying that correct so that was six pound for the carafe i think the mug was around three pound two pound fifty but yeah it's just a lovely holly foliage mug and then like i said the matching carafe with the cork lid and i just thought that this would be so nice for serving drinks on a christmas themed table or just around christmas time and i just love me a mug and i could not resist this one it was giving me emma bridgewater vibes which i really adore emma bridgewater items and her designs and it just kind of reminded me of that a little bit and i just loved them so had to get both of those. Then following on from the Nordic style of tree I like to do, I got these three pack paper acorn decorations, which I just thought were so cute. So they're three pound for three baubles, so one pound each. And I just thought that they look really, really nice. I love the paper design. Like I said, I love the natural materials, the natural textures. And I just know that this is gonna go really, really lovely with all of the other decor that I already use for our Christmas tree. And the whole Nordic range that they have in there, they have some gorgeous baubles. But like I said, I really wanna go through what I already have before I pick up some more, but they do have some really lovely ornate, gorgeous baubles and yeah if you are looking for some really nice decorations and B&M have some gorgeous ones. I got this chocolate mold set so this is two pound for these snowmans, snowmans, snowmen and I thought that this would not only be cute for making chocolate but I thought for the babies that we could freeze like yogurt, you could put like a Ella's Kitchen food pouch, fruit pouch in there, and that'd be something fun for them also to have at lunch times and snack times, dinner time. I just think there's quite a lot of fun things that we'll be able to do with chocolate molds and jelly molds. So I have bought a couple on, on Amazon as well. So we've got a little variety, but yeah, I couldn't pass that up when I walked past that. Cellar tape, so £1.50 for a pack of three. I know that I am gonna be needing a SHIT load of sellotape this Christmas. I've got six kids to wrap presents for along with everyone else. So yeah, I'm probably going to be needing these in a bucket load. And I thought that £1.50 for three, it was a great price. And then I got these festive fun bumper activity packs. I have the last couple of years tried to stay away from festive packs like this purely because we have so many coloring books that the kids need to use up. I am actually gonna get them some more stuff for their art and crafts cupboard for Christmas because I feel like they need some of that and they use that all year round. But I saw these and they were only a pound and I thought, you know what, it would be a nice evening activity for us to all do or like on a rainy day weekend or something like that. I could just whack this out and the kids will be able to just have some fun really, some Christmas Eve fun. So each festive fun pack is one pound and it comes with a colouring book, activity book, write and draw your own story, which I know Harlow and Harper will love, Christmas stickers and also colouring pencils. They'd also be nice in a Christmas Eve box or I have seen that people have started to move their Christmas Eve boxes to like the first of December. Then they have all month to do the activities, which I actually think is a really, really good idea. And then again, I'm not sure if I've already shown this in a haul or not yet or a video. It's already come in disheveled. This was actually one of the first things I bought for Christmas a long while back. I think I bought this on the B&M Come Shop With Me video that I did a month or so ago. It is this wrapping paper, which I think is stunning. So it's a pack of four. And then you also get the tags there. You do get ribbons. So that's obviously what's fallen off. The babies must have pulled them off so I'll have to go on the hunt for them which is a shame I can't show you but it does say four times 1.5 meter rolls which isn't very long actually then two times five meter ribbons and then eight tags so I really loved the wrapping paper and especially this one on the end 
because it kind of looks like hand-drawn paper. The star one's really cute as well. This Christmas tree is lovely. They're all really, really nice and they all complement each other. Lovely. I wanted to go back and get more, but since I decided that, I can't find it again. So I'm guessing it's been shopped and bought and it must be a fan favourite this year. And then I'm going to move on to the cleaning section of my Christmas hauls. I just feel like every corner, every crevice, every slot of my house needs to be deep cleaned before Christmas time. I thought it'd be really nice to do a few Christmas clean with me's and just to get festive along the way. First of all we have this scrub mummy and it is in the Christmas tree design so I absolutely think that that is so cute. This is a flat texture scrubber soft in warm water firm in cool water. I use scrub daddies and mummies all of the time and I really really rate them. So then I also got these flash sprays. So this one I have started using already. This is the orange and cinnamon flash spray. So I have really been loving using that. As you can see, I am right down to the last little bit now. And then the other two flavours, which I haven't used yet, flavours, as if I'm going to be eating them. I have the Hinched, so the Mrs. Hinch Frosted Eucalyptus one. And then I also have the Sugar Plum Delight. Then sticking with the Mrs. Hinch range, I also got the Loved by Mrs. Hinch Frosted Eucalyptus fabric conditioner and I also got the cleaning pods for this. I've already started using them and they're down in the utility room. I just feel really festive putting this in my washes. For the essentials of cleaning we have the fairy washing up liquid. So this is in pomegranate and it has a wishing you a fairy Christmas on it and this bauble design. So I just thought that was super cute and I've also been using this as you can see. This is the first time I bought it in this anti-leak technology and I love it. It really does work. It doesn't leak at all. You squeeze it out when you need it. I don't know how they do it. It is magic, but really rate these bottles. They're probably a bit more pricier than some of the standard washing up liquid because to be honest, I do try and go cheap because you know, we are in a cost of living crisis. But if you can, this really does work. No more of that washing up liquid gunk on your kitchen sides. This is a dream. Harpic in the mountain pine. So I just thought that, that would add a little bit of Christmas to the toilets. I got the Christmas Sif. So this is the winter warmth cream. I needed some of the Sif cream anyway. I love, love, love a Sif cream when it comes to cleaning my kitchen sinks. They do do a whole range on this as well. So I think they've got the spray and stuff. But I haven't heard actually good things about the spray. My friend got it and said it didn't smell like Christmassy. I mean... This I would say smells like the normal Sif cream with maybe a hint of an orangey flavour I'm not really sure but I am obsessed with the smell of the Sif cream anyway I don't know what it is about it so I'm going to enjoy this no matter what whether it's Christmassy or whether it just smells like Sif but I really liked the Christmas packaging I am a sucker 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 for Christmas packaging if you can't tell already and then all of my other cleaning bits are Zoe Flora first of all I've got the cleaning wipes in winter spice and winter morning and then I also got the winter spice in a big Zoflora bottle and then I also got sparkling spruce and then I spotted today this one cranberry and orange and look at the packaging on that one I thought that that was so so sweet I actually haven't smelt this one so let's see what this smells like try not to stick this all over the bedroom floor yeah that definitely that smells very very Christmassy so I'm gonna love putting that in our sinks I like to fill the sinks up with hot water and then put some flora in them because then the scent just wafts all throughout the room and it just makes the house smell gorgeous so I've got that one in home bargain so I'm not sure if they do that one in B&M yet and then last but not least I got the winter spice disinfectant mist which I'm going to be spraying all over my house because as I mentioned we have been a sick house and I just go through disinfectant spray like no tomorrow if someone is ill in the family because oh, it just really freaks me out it just freaks me out so um yeah the winter spice edition so that is everything that I have got from home bargains and B&M so this is the first of my Christmas videos so I'm sure I will be heading back and I definitely want to do some gift guides from B&M etc so I will be back there so if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe because there will be more hopefully coming your way I really do hope that you enjoyed it I hope that you liked some of the things that I have got thank you again for watching this video and I shall see you all in my next one bye